before we explain multi-signature wallets, let's first do a quick recap on public keys and private keys. So simply, the public key is your wallet address. You can safely give it to anyone to send you some crypto, it is like your bank account number, you can give it to anyone, but nobody can use it to withdraw money from your account. The private key on the other hand is for you only, it is like the password to your crypto wallet, or like the pin to your debit card, it should be kept secret from anyone. The reason for this is that the private key is used to sign and approve any transactions you make, so if a hacker somehow had access to your private key, he can now take all of your money and spend it however he likes. It should be noted here that this private key is a series of 64 letters and numbers, but usually, you don't see it like this, in fact, you may never see it at all, you are usually given a more user-friendly series of 12 to 24 simple words that can be used to get back access to your wallet if you lose the device you are using or your hardware wallet. This series of words is called a seed phrase or recovery phrase, and it is as important as your private key, if someone knows your seed phrase, he can use it and spend all your crypto. So before we get off topic here, like what we have said, a traditional crypto wallet requires a signature with your private key to approve any transaction, but what if you hold large amounts of crypto in hardware wallets, and you still want an extra layer of security? Well, that is where multi-signature wallets come in. Welcome to Cryptobi, where we explain cryptocurrencies and DeFi topics in the most simple and beginner-friendly way. So, what is a multi-signature wallet? A multi-signature wallet is a wallet that requires two or more signatures from two or more private keys. Unlike a traditional wallet that needs only one signature from one private key. For example, you can create a multi-signature wallet with three private keys, your private key, John's private key, and Jessica's private key, and you can set the wallet to require at least two signatures out of three to approve any transaction. So, let's say you want to send one Bitcoin to Taylor, you first need to sign the transaction with your private key. Now you already have one of the two needed signatures, but the transaction has not been approved yet. You now need to wait until John or Jessica sign the transaction with one of their private keys. Let's say after a while, John uses his private key and signs the transaction. Now the transaction has the two needed signatures, so it gets approved and the money is spent. You don't need to wait for Jessica to sign. So, as you can see, even if a hacker somehow had access to your private key, he still wouldn't be able to spend any money from the wallet. He would need to get another key from either from John or Jessica, which is much harder than having to access just one key in the case of traditional wallets. If you still didn't get the idea, here is a simple analogy to help you understand it. So this multi-signature wallet is like a vault or a safe that has three key openings and three keys. To open this vault, you need to put it in any two keys, one key only will not open the vault. So, if a thief wants to open this vault, he would need to steal two keys, not just one. Returning back to our example, this setup of a multi-sig wallet is usually used between business partners. So no one can withdraw money from the wallet without the approval of an another partner. An important point here is that you are not restricted to this two out of three keys combination, the wallet can also be created as a three of four wallet or as five of seven wallet where no transaction can be made without the approval of five partners. So that is for businesses, what about individuals like you and me, what is a good way to set up your multi-sig wallet? Well, a very common multi-sig setup for individuals is a two of three combination with a MetaMask wallet and two hardware wallets. In this setup, you should lock one hardware wallet in a safe distant place like a deposit box and keep the other one with you at home to use daily. In this setup, any transaction you make requires you to confirm it on your hardware wallet and on your MetaMask wallet. In the case you lose one hardware wallet or the MetaMask wallet, you can still get the other locked hardware wallet from the safe to be able to get the two signatures needed to approve transactions. And if somehow a hacker could access your MetaMask wallet, he still can't make any transactions as he would need to mm -hmm. confirm it on one of the two hardware wallets. The same is true if you were the target of a $5 wrench attack where a thief threatens you to give him your hardware wallet and its PIN code. In this case, when the thief takes your wallet and run away, he won't be able to spend mm -hmm. any of your money 
as any transaction will need to approved on MetaMask or on the other hardware wallet. Another setup you can create is a one of two wallet, where any of the two key can approve transactions. For example, you can create a wallet with your private key and the private key of an another trusted person. In this setup, any one of you can approve transactions and spend the money in the wallet. But as you can tell, this is not done for security reasons at all, as it doesn't increase security in any way, it just lets you share your crypto with another trusted person. So you now may be wondering how to set up or create a multi-sig wallet. Well, the answer depends on which crypto you are holding. For Bitcoin, you can do it yourself and use Electrum, which is totally free to use, but it can be a little intimidating and not that easy to use for beginners. Or you can use something like Casa, which holds for you one key out of the three wallet keys. But still, they don't have any control over your crypto, as you still have the two other keys. It is not free to use, but they make the setup process very easy. If you are holding Ethereum and other ERC20 tokens, like Chainlink, Shiba Inu, and Decentraland, you can use the Gnosis Safe. It is free to use, you just have to pay a fee of 0.005 ETH to create a vault. Also, its user interface is very friendly and easy for beginners. At the end of this video, we hope you learned what you need to know about the multi-sig wallets, and if you liked our video and want to reward our hard work, give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our new videos. Thanks for watching.